Well, thank God we are finally setting closer to the end of 2023 and those still alive. I think it is very important to thank God for this far we have come. Wow. Well, 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 there you go. There you go. Well, in this video, we are going to be looking at the prominent people we lost in this year 2023 as a country. Well, this one is uh, Ibrahim Tusubira, famously known as Georgia Ichuli. He was shot dead in May by a known assailant at his home in Chanja, uh, right here in Kampala. Uh, he was traveling with his driver, Mr. Waiswa Matthias. Uh, fortunately, Mr. Waiswa survived. Uh, Jaja Ichuli's death happened a few days after he had recorded a controversial video praising the bodyguard of former minister Charles Sengwala for killing his boss. <laughs> Police immediately started investigations into Jaja Ichuli's murder and his driver was apprehended. Well, until today, there has not been any report on the death of Jaja Ichuli. <laughs> Well, Keith Muhakanizi was a former permanent secretary of the Ministry of Finance. He died in April in a hospital in Milan, that is in Italy. By the time of his death, he had served as the permanent secretary at the office of the Prime Minister for two years. Well, this one is uh, Colonel Charles Engola. He was a former OYAM member of parliament and a state minister for labor, employment and industrial relations. He was killed in May by his bodyguard, Private Wilson Sabiti, who later shot himself dead. The day Horrible Engola was killed, he was preparing himself to go for a cabinet meeting. Reports indicated that poor pay was the main cause of the shooting. Apollo Nyigamahe, famously known as Aponye, uh, died in a car accident at Itojo in Intunkamo district. Uh, that was in July. He was a prominent businessman and uh, he was also an NRM chairperson in Iruchiga district. Number five, we have Archbishop Bachenga. He was a former Archbishop of Mbarara. He died in July. He was appointed Bishop and later Archbishop 18 years ago and resigned in 2022. Dr. Agre Chiyinji. He died in September in Australia, where he had stayed for a long time. He was accused of funding the ADF rebels, the claims he denied, saying they were politically motivated. In 2015, he announced plans to return to Uganda to challenge President Museveni in the 2016 election, but it never happened. Number 7. The entertainment industry woke up to the unfortunate news of the death of artist Evely Love in September. At the time of her death, she was battling kidney disease which had tormented her for some years. She had been flown to Turkey to conduct a kidney transplant which was later declined by medical experts who said her condition was not suitable for the operation. We have Horrible Hussein Chanjo. He was a former Makindia West member of parliament. He died in July at Chibuli Hospital. Uh, Chanjo represented the people of Makindye in the 10th parliament on the Jema ticket. Number 9, we have horrible Katolu Gwama. He was a popular comedian, a former member of parliament and a singer. He died in June at a medical facility right here in Kampala. His burial sparked debate when Bobby Wine advised the fellow artists to push for copyright other than depending on handouts from government, which angered Eddie Kenzo, the president of the Musicians' Federation. We were artists. The more does he hand out? No. For some of the artists, we throw a book. Let me tell you, the industry no kuchuka. Yet, I got to buy political will. 
singa bantu akufuga bali bagalo bulambu chuketeleta kakola chinjicho na beta kakwagala bwagazi obulambu ati buchuke ko bulamu government ne bafuga bwe bate yagalo bulambu bamwe buchuke a amazima gakatonda tugenda kufuka well finally we have horrible Joyce Mbanga she was a former member of parliament for Mubende district and a former minister uh, she was also a member of the Luchiko that is the Buganda parliament since 2009 she died in November just last month well those are the top 10 prominent people we lost in this year 2023 if there are others i have forgotten you can add them in the comment section May God rest their souls in eternal peace. I know that uh, Christmas is supposed to be a time for merrymaking, for enjoying, for eating, for drinking, uh, for spending time with family. But I know that many Ugandans will not be able to have that opportunity because of the things that are ongoing in the country. So to the families who have lost the people, who, whose family members have been abducted, whose family members are political prisoners, we send you lots of love. And we can promise that we'll continue to fight for them. For the rest of Ugandans, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.